Welcome back to Strathroy Rockets Hockey on 105.7 My FM. One period done from the Western Fair Sports Center. London Strathroy nodded at two here in game three. Joined by London uh, GM uh, Tim Flynn. And this is the first time I think we've actually had to talk uh, uh, this year. Uh, Tim, your thoughts, first of all, on that opening 20. Uh, we started off well and, uh, you know, we had some real good opportunities early and we outshot them, but uh, they have a good power play. Uh, we took a couple of dumb penalties and we let them back in the game. Uh, so anything can happen uh, in the next two periods. If you can give us a synopsis on the 52-game uh, regular season as far as the London Nationals' perspective, what would you say? Oh, the biggest problem I thought this year was we were too inconsistent. Uh, you know, we took too many penalties and uh, we gave up uh, too many goals on the power play. And uh, that hurt us, you know, throughout the year and it's hurting us tonight. Uh, if we stay out of the box, we can beat anybody five on five. Uh, your postseason uh, opponents against LaSalle, St. Mary's, uh, talk to us about the opening two rounds of the playoffs in your opinion. Uh, we played very well. Uh, the key was what I've been talking about in the, you know, the last couple of minutes. Uh, we stayed out of the box, and uh, five on five, uh, you know, we, we dominated them. Um, the two games that we lost to St. Mary's, we got in a little bit of penalty trouble, and uh, they capitalized on us. So we stay out of the box. We can beat anybody. Dave was mentioning in game one uh, last Wednesday that uh, you guys, the least penalized team in the playoffs, and that's got to happen. Yeah, we're you know we're really surprised and we're, and we're happy about it, and uh, I think the league's happy too because uh, we were the most penalized team in the whole league. So uh, you know uh, we've really clamped down, and the boys you know know it's uh, you know we were one one shot away, one game away last year from winning it all. So uh, you know we don't want to give anybody the opportunity to beat us. What was the contributing factor to you know get that discipline in check? Uh, it was our veterans, our 20-year-olds, and, uh, you know, they, they were the culprits, most of them. And, uh, you know, they've settled down, and uh, this is their last kick at the can. So they, you know, they don't, like I said, they don't want to give anybody an opportunity. Uh, they just want to play hard, disciplined hockey, and, uh, you know, they want to win it all this year. Uh, a lot of uh, London Knights fans will recognize your Nationals bench with Kelly Thompson, A.J. Perry, also Jeff Paul behind the bench. Uh, your thoughts on, on the bench staff here in London? Oh, you know, you, you got guy, two guys that played the Memorial Cup, and Jeff Paul's played 13 years in the minors in Europe. Uh, you know, uh, they have a lot of experience. They know the game well. I think the, the biggest uh, learning curve was uh, adjusting to coaching teenagers. Uh, it's a little bit different in Junior A because we got a lot of kids that are uh, in go to university and Fanshawe. So, you know, they, they uh, it's not like the nights where, you know, you're there, the veterans are there all the time. They have morning breakfast and they skate in the morning. Uh, these guys have to go to school. They got uh, you know, they got to adjust their time. They write exams. Uh, we got four or five guys that are pre-Ivy, and they got to maintain an 80 average in a very tough course. So, uh, they, you know, they got to be able to balance that and play in hockey. And I, I think uh, it was a big learning curve for uh, the three coaches. If you, uh, if we could take the actually London and Strathroy right out of the equation, could did you see a possible third versus seventh, maybe a fourth versus? Uh, eighth or whatnot did you see th uh, this type of matchup possibly in the western conference final no 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 possible way we, we played the uh, strathroy the first game of the year and uh i thought uh you know strathroy was young and um we were we were sort of rebuilding and you know and um we thought we had a good chance but then we lost guys at the end uh before the trade deadline you know we lost hatcher we lost holder and that really hurt us uh, but uh you know, third and seventh uh you know, Sarnia was the team to beat. Uh, everybody's picking Sarnia all year. Uh, they had a real good run. They had a veteran defense. They built their team for the rink. And uh, uh, Scott Farroy, I watched them. They're, you know, uh, they played well, and they deserved the win. They, they play, all played them at times. And, uh, you know, uh, hats off to Scott Farroy. They did a great job. Uh, series tied at one here, game three. It's uh, The score is tied at two, so it's fair to ask you this question. What do you think will be the difference in this series, no matter who wins it? Um, just like the bottom line, we, 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 you know, we, we stay under control. I, you know, I think, uh, I think we, uh, you know, we have the better goaltending, uh, and I think Strathroy has the better forwards and we're both even on defense. So we just got to stay disciplined. We got to stay out of the box and, uh, we do that. Uh, I think we'll be successful. Always great to talk to you. Appreciate the time and uh, congratulations on a fantastic year and good luck in the playoffs as they keep going. Thank you. Have a good night. GM for the London Nationals, uh, Tim Flynn. When we come back, we'll have our period summary and a look at our out-of-town scoreboard. This is Strathroy Rockets Hockey live on 105.7 MyFM.